freezing cold out here. So, <laughs> I'm back to urban survival. My camp was sabotaged while I was gone for six hours. Uh, so I have to abandon it. If fucking half the things were smashed, stolen. Fuck, and I'm not even kidding. I'm not going to lay any blame. It's pretty obvious, but ultimately I didn't see them do it. So I'm not even going to worry. So, back to Urban Survival. However, I discovered a GoFundMe thing. I didn't know it existed in terms of being able to do it yourself. I thought it was like something the media did. So I've started a GoFundMe page. So I can get an apartment. Because I've got no campsite now. Whoever sabotaged it slashed all the tents. So water can come in now. Slashed the bed, slashed the sleeping bags, swiped a few things, uh, threw all the food everywhere. It was pretty funny. And they just so happened to know exactly the time I left the camp. <laughs> Not complaining. Back to urban survival. Uh, it is what it is. So I won't be back there again. That's it. It's, I've fully abandoned the camp. God knows uh, what's there. People can take whatever the fuck they want. There's nothing really of importance or uh, great value there except a few chicken nibblies and bits and pieces so that's it I won't be going back there again I'll be looking for a place but hopefully this GoFundMe thing that I'm about to start and make another video on in terms of sharing a link will get me going so to recap campsite has been sabotaged fully sabotaged and uh, whoever sabotaged it also swiped half of the stuff there and pretty much destroyed everything there and if you can help a brother out I'm going to attach the GoFundMe link on the next video so I can you know, just get myself together, find a place because you know, Centrelink have fucked me around and don't intend on paying me and that's that.